guys, it's Gretchen, and welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited because I honestly thought this was never gonna come, but it is time for my 50th Stitch Fix. Now, what I mean by I didn't think it was ever gonna come, I mean that my first 50th box got lost in the mail. It's still lost in the mail somewhere in Atlanta. So I had to contact Stitch Fix and be like, hey yo, this box, it's like been in the same spot for 10 days. What's going on? And they're like, oh crud. It kind of looks like it's lost. We'll send you another one. So this is the second 50th box. At this point, I don't even remember what was in the first box. I know I looked at it when I got the notification that it had shipped, but I forgot to take screenshots and now I don't even remember if the same items that were in the first box are what I got in the second one. But it doesn't matter. I didn't get the first box. My stylist this month was Lindsay again. I absolutely love that Lindsay and I have kind of like formed a connection now. It's good to have finally found a stylist that I can stick with. And Lindsay even said that they're very excited to see my name pop up for fixes. So I was like, yay, I found someone. So this month, Lindsay sent me three tops a jumpsuit and a pair of shorts. It's getting hot out there, guys. Except for today, the day I'm filming this, it's only in the 50s, so it's like Mother Nature's like, just kidding. And I gotta be honest with you guys, you know how I try and stick with my rule of only buying one item? That's out the window this month. I am buying all five items, mostly because the price is just too good, but also I'm madly in love with at least four of these items. The fifth one I feel like will grow on me. So I'm gonna start with the one that I'm, I'm fairly certain is gonna grow on me, and then work my way up to my absolute favorite one. We'll go from there. So this first item is this t-shirt from Threads for Thought. It is the Maggie Firecracker Wash Tee and it retails for $45. Now, believe me, that price catches me off guard and I definitely would not normally keep a shirt like this for $45, just no way. But at the end of this, you'll see why I'm keeping everything. Cause when I look at the price for a lot of these things, they're pretty expensive. But I have a reason why I'm keeping all five, but we'll get there. Anyway, the main reason why I'm a little just like eh about this one, even though I do like it, it is a very comfy top, just an everyday top. I am not usually a pocket person. This is a pocket on the breast right there. I'm not normally a pocket person. I like how it kind of has like that tie-dye wash effect to it, but the pocket is just kind of, mm. It does also seem like it's more of a crop top. It doesn't claim to be a crop top, but it kind of seems like it is. This is very lightweight great for summer. I love the color scheme to it. It says it's gray, but you know, gray and white. There's not much to say about this top other than the only thing that I'm not like over the moon about is the pocket, but not enough for me to like completely say no to it because of the reason that I'll get to at the end. $45 is a lot for this. So if it wasn't for this one particular reason, I'd probably say no to this. Next is this top from Lush. And this is the Tamara Cropped Not Front Knit Top. Quite a mouthful. And this retails for $34. It is the cheapest thing in the box this month. Not front tops are growing on me. I don't usually like them, but I love the black and white stripe look. I love that it's cropped. It'll be great with high-waisted pants. I love this so much. The only thing, the only thing about it is that where this knot is, it puffs out a little bit right above it. And I'm normally not all about that, but I feel like I can work with this one, especially with high-waisted pants. So the jean shorts that I wear in the try-on video don't necessarily work well with this top. They can, but for me, I'd rather wear high-waisted pants with it. I think that will look so good. Absolutely love that for summertime. And so other than this one little part where it poofs out, like even just holding it like this, it poofs out. I could see it over there. It's poofing out a smidge, but I think working with it a little bit and wearing the best pants with it, I think will help it a lot. I also just like the simplicity of it, the stripes look to it. It is black and white, which I love. Again, not much else to say about it because it is such a simple top but I still really like it. It looks good for summer. Next is this asymmetrical top from Gold Ray. This is the Garima Asymmetric Cold Shoulder Top and it retails for $50. Again, pretty expensive. I probably wouldn't normally spend $50 on it, but we're gonna get to my reasoning at the end. I do really enjoy this top, but let me tell you one thing. This was a chore to get on. First of all, I didn't realize there are two layers to this top. So you'll see in the try on, this top has literally two layers. 
There's like this under layer and then a top layer. And it's kind of hard to see it on the camera, but you'll see it in the try-on. I didn't know that, and so I couldn't find the opening. I'm sitting there going like, Where? I'm never getting this top on. Like, what is this? Then I figured it out. I love cold shoulder tops. This one, the cold shoulder is on the left shoulder. And then over on the right shoulder, it's just a regular sleeve that comes to your elbow. But then it has like this little keyhole cutout right in the dead center, which I love. A lot of stretch to this. It does hug the body, unlike the other two, which were a little bit more loose. This one is definitely form-fitting, but it's got a lot of stretch to it. A lot of stretch so it doesn't feel like it's clinging too close to you. It's also a solid black top. I can never have enough solid black tops, especially if there are fun ones like this, because then I can dress this up and wear it to work, or I could dress it up for date night. There's so many versatile ways to wear this specific top. So other than the fact that it was a little bit of a puzzle to get into, I love this top a lot, especially the cold shoulder and the little keyhole cutout. I think it just adds something fun to what is normally just a solid black top. Next are these jean shorts from Studio Blue, and these are the Cadence Distressed Denim Short. They're distressed. What more can I say? I absolutely love distressed jeans, shorts, whatever. There's not too much distressing in the backside. You can see like little rips, but not like exposed in skin or anything like that. Just a good pair of jean shorts. These do retail for $40, so actually cheaper than some of the tops in this fix, which is pretty cool. I love how distressed these are in the front. I like having that exposed look. They feel really nice. The only thing that I don't like too much is that down here at the hem, it does cling to your thigh a little bit. I'm not usually a fan of that, but you know what? I like how these look and they felt great on and they looked nice on with the tops that I was sent. Though with the knot top, I think I would definitely wear more high-waisted. This is not high-waisted, this is just regular. And so with that top, I'd wear high-waisted, but for the other tops, these would go great with them. All right, so the final item in this fix, y'all. I don't think I've done this before, but I love this next item so much that I am wearing it currently for this video. I think that's a first. I absolutely love what I have on right now so much that I had to wear it for the video. And that is the jumpsuit that came from Market and Spruce. Y'all know how much I love Market and Spruce. And it is the Sierra Knit Cropped Jumpsuit, first of all the color. It is olive. I'm gonna stand up a little bit for y'all. It is olive. It goes great with my hair. I love this jumpsuit. I got the try on video so you can at least see it there. I won't be able to like hold it up or anything like that because it is on my body. But I love this jumpsuit so much. It is so comfy. It is so, oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. This jumpsuit is one that I can do so many things with it. I can make it look preppy. I can make it look edgy. I can do so many things with this jumpsuit and the color, the color. I have not loved a piece of clothing this much in a long time. I love everything about this. This jumpsuit does retail for $54, so it does end up being the most expensive item in this fix, but you know what? I don't care. This thing could have been close to like $100. Actually, I do care a little bit if it would have been that much. I'm glad it wasn't, but I, ugh, the color just really got me, but it's so comfy. It is cropped so it comes up above the ankle. It's gonna be so cute with sandals, Doc Martens, Vans. You do so many things with this jumpsuit. I'm so excited for them. I can see myself living in this jumpsuit. Also, it does have an elastic waist and of course, pockets. So now we're getting to the reason why I'm deciding to keep everything in this box, even though I'm not like over the moon about everything like I am this jumpsuit. So everything in this box comes to $2.23, which in and of itself is not that bad, but considering two or t-shirts really, that's a little rough. So buying all five gives you that 25% off discount. So that takes off $55.75. Already that's brought that down to $167.25, which is also really good. But then I have $49 in credit to take off from that total. Because once I emailed Stitch Fix saying like, hey, yo, my fix is missing. They tacked on some promo for a discount. Then my style pass just updated. So now that comes off of this one. So my grand total comes to 118.25. That is the reason why I'm keeping all five items. Seriously, just a little bit over $100 for all five of these items. Yeah, I'm keeping everything. I can come to love that one shirt. 
I can come to make that one shirt work. It's fine for $118. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely keeping everything. I don't usually keep everything. If this is the first Stitch Fix video you're seeing from me, I try and stick to a rule of only one item per fix, but this was just a special exception. Also, if you're curious about any of these items, I always list them in the description below. So head down there if you'd like to order one of these pieces yourself. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, view and patron only content and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be, because I don't know, even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.